good to see everybody here for another episode of Food is Medicine. Uh, I'm your host, David Monias, and I'm going to introduce our co-host, Karen Swain. Did you want to say hi? Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. My babies are watching me tonight. Um, welcome again to Food is Medicine. We're at week 10. Today is our chicken quesadillas, and I actually started the recipe in the other room, and the spices smell amazing. So welcome again, and let's enjoy this time together, having our community uh, connection, cooking together, learning new things, trying new recipes, um, and, and sharing this good time. Miigwech. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I always start things off with kind of a land acknowledgement. Uh, we're on Chitiwan territory. That's the home of our, our brothers and sisters and all our other relatives, uh, the Anishinaabe, Cree, and Dene or I think so, maybe not that last one, um, but <laughs> the Ojibwe as well. Don't want to forget those folks, they're great. Um, anyways, we like Karen said, we are going to be working on chicken quesadillas and we can kind of get straight into it. Uh, it's a very simple recipe today. Uh, we might be done earlier, uh, we might be done later, um, but we're going to be doing a lot of fun chats in between and we'll check in with people. Uh, first things first, uh, uh, with your oven, I would preheat it to 350. Uh, it doesn't have to be super hot. It's just there to kind of toast things. It's not going to be our primary way of cooking, but it is going to be toasting at the end. So just get that ready. Things you'll need is a cutting board, a knife, uh, two bowls. Uh, we have some, you know, so a pot holder. I think we submitted. Uh, we gave out some of those in some of the care packages. Uh, you know, you might need a baking sheet. Uh, if you don't have one, that's okay. And obviously a frying pan and a spatula. Uh, things in the kit today should be, you know, uh, cumin, uh, paprika, Tex-Mex, and cayenne pepper. Should be, we already pre-mixed this one if you received it from us. Uh, we also have peppers here. Uh, onions. Oh, this one doesn't look like a great onion. I'm going to switch that out. <laughs> and, and if not, uh, I'll find something for that. We also have some uh, sour cream, some cheese, and some garlic. Mine is a little bit different, but we'll get into that a little bit after. Um, first things first, uh, again, like preheat your oven, get that started, and we'll get right onto our, our peppers. And I'm gonna grab our knife. And as usual, we always kind of be careful with how we're handling it. Uh, a lot of people have different ways of cutting this. Um, maybe I'm a weirdo, but I was just like cutting off the head here. Uh, this way I can uh, get this stuff at the top here. And usually what I do is kind of, um, I just kind of get this part here and I kind of leave the stem. This way we're kind of using a lot of the pieces here. Um, and then you can either put this into a compost thing or anything like um, we talked to be before saving food scraps like this just for um, you know making broth. But if you don't want to, that's okay. I'm just gonna have to throw it out today just because I don't have something for that. But we're just gonna be dicing these up real small. You can honestly keep these a little bit bigger. Um, ooh, maybe this one isn't the sharpest knife. Uh, I'll grab a different one after. Um, and then we're just going to cut these up real small and it can be either like chunks like this. I'm not sure how well that kind of picks up there. I'm going to have mine a little bit chunkier. If you have picky eaters in the household, I always like the idea of like making them smaller so people don't see them and you can kind of just like get them up real small. Again, just toss them into a, your bowl. This will be kind of our clean bowl. So we'll have two types of bowls here. We have one that will be touching the raw meat, and this is where cooked food will go. And our other, our bowl number two, it'll go where cooked food or even just like stuff that will get you sick and it'll be edible. Just keep in mind, you don't want to be mixing that stuff. It's not healthy for you. Anyways, going back to cutting the pepper, I just kind of trimmed the tops here, the stems where the, the seeds are. And I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I'm just cutting those like connections here. And that should just come loose real easy and it comes off. And again, if you wanted to save this for broth or anything or compost, you could, 
Uh, and then I just kind of shake out any leftover um, seeds in here. And it should, you can even just give it a light little tap like this and it should be gone. And that's about it. And then we're just gonna give it a nice little chop down the middle here. Um, we're gonna just put in the strips. And then the reason why I do it in strips is just so I can kind of have a lot of them up together and kind of trim them up there. So we'll kind of have it like this. I'm just gonna move this off to the side onto a plate here. And we're just gonna do this. And always be careful where your fingers are. If, you're, if there's little ones, I would encourage uh, parents to do this part right now. But if you feel confident, I will trust you. But do, please always be careful, even if you're a pro. Thanks to Russell and Ginger and the family for showing us all your chopped veggies. It looks like you've added some extra Ooh. like I did, some orange and red peppers and a little yellow. So it looks fantastic. Oh, wow. Alicia, you're all Do we want to switch to some of the families cooking. here? That looks Ooh. fantastic. Is that cooked already? Looks good. So you want to get it in the fridge so it'll cool off. One of the tips that came out of the recipe was a cooled filling makes crispier quesadillas. So get that filling in the fridge once it's cooked. And I'm just going to quickly check my fridge, see if I have any other onions. Maybe in some in here, but if not, um, again, just cut up your rest of your, your peppers. Um, full disclosure, uh, seems like one of my uh, onions wasn't really that good. So I, I did have to put it off to the side and put it away just because I didn't want it to kind of be ruining this yummy food that we're going to be eating today. And I think I might substitute it for some onion powder. I think I have some extra ones here in the office. So in a minute or two, when we start frying this stuff up, uh, we will, I'll, I'll be kind of gently disappearing while Karen checks in with some of the participants today. <laughs> if that's okay, Karen. Definitely, I'm watching the kitchens and I'm seeing preparation happening. I see, oh, Phoebe's joined us and- Oh, hi. Tamara. Hi. Oh, Jen made it. So it's nice to see uh, all y'all. So we're up to um, 18 plus us. Oh, you, awesome. You and me, David, so great. That makes me super happy. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm just finishing chopping up here. And yeah, we're super excited that we've been able to extend our food as medicine for a few more weeks. And please make sure that you renew your interest each week. Mm -hmm. So because these are based essentially bonus episodes, uh, you'll probably have to check in with either myself or the front desk or whoever you uh, primarily work with within our office, just to kind of get make sure you're set up for other classes. This just kind of renews a, just frees up some space for those who, who may have been new, new participants. There you go. So know that some people were really down to be a part of every week, but we're just gonna kind of give these ones a little bit more of a free for all coming up. And so with that, that's done. I'm gonna quickly chop up my onion. And if you're, a, if you have multiple people cooking in the office, I do would encourage you, you can kind of just start frying that stuff up. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start doing this now. I, I'm improvising for a different onion. I'm not sure, too sure if this one's good either. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that off to the side. I'm just gonna omit onions today. Um, but uh, with that said, uh, feel free to chop up your onions. Hopefully you're not crying lots. Uh, today you won't be seeing me crying. <laughs> and then uh, we can kind of just move on to our oven here. Uh, just give me one second while I kind of get that. Karen, if you want, love to check in with some folks, that'd be great. 
Sure, before we do our check-in, I want to let you know that I had a little onion hack today when I went to Sobeys to get my ingredients. Sobeys has little um, two-cup containers of chopped onion, so no crying for me. You just rinse them and throw them in your recipe. So that was my little hack for today, and can we go to Jasmine? How are you doing? We're doing good. Um, Ooh, I'm actually gonna. Yeah. My partner is chopping up onions, and yeah. Everything Excellent. Is. Terrific. Uh, Catherine, how's it going? Is that Kathleen or? Catherine, sorry. How's it going, Catherine? Hi. Hi. Hi, it's just me and my girl. We're doing this. We're on the garlic part. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Yes. Oh, that's something good. I need to get done to my garlic so I can continue chopping up here. Yes, and it's good to be here. Thank you. So glad you made it. Yeah. Glad you made it. Thank it makes you. me happy. Okay, now Kathleen. Quickly yeah, I'm good. Me. I also have some frozen onions from the freezer from Superstore. They sell them in a bag. So it's my little oh, hack. There's another hack. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, oh, yes. And Tamara says use a sharp knife to prevent the crying. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> are we back I to you? I love hearing now? all these little pro tips from everybody. David, are we back to you? Uh, yeah, well, we'll be switching back. I'm almost done on my end here, too. Uh, so I, I forgot that I had garlics to, to chop up. So I'm going to get doing that right now. Should be real quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard it earlier, but my preheated oven went off. Um, so hopefully yours should be done by now. And I'm just kind of chopping these up until just a little dicing them up. And I don't even, I think even just, I had one giant clove. I'm not sure if you can see how big this one is. This is what I would normally expect from a clove. But this one's just massive. So I think I, wow. I'll just, I'm just going to stick to not you just using one because I had one big one like that too. And we're just going to chop them up as finely as we can. They do get a little bit sticky, but that's okay. Um, I like garlic. So if it's a little thicker, that's okay with me. I just kind of like just continuously go over and kind of mince it up. Uh, yeah, and then we'll kind of just put that off to the side. Uh, I think it's pretty chopped up on my end. I'm just gonna brush off the knife here. I'm just gonna put that in here as well. And then what I'm gonna do actually, and then this is kind of an optional step and I don't think it was particularly mentioned in our um, kind of our recipe, but I think I'm gonna pre-cut some of these chicken or I'm gonna try and see how that goes. Uh, Pre-cutting them will kind of give you a little bit more of a, uh, how you say, um, just give you an easier time. Now that I touched raw meat, uh, be, please be careful. Uh, and if this knife touches raw beef, this knife should be out of commission. Once you kind of cook it, just put it away. We'll, we'll chop up some other stuff with a new knife if you have one. It would need to be cleaned before that. And the reason why I'm chopping this one up is particularly uh, when we kind of make our chicken quesadillas, it's going to cook a little bit quicker, but also just you, pan out. you can kind of like spread them across uh, different quesadillas a little bit more and you can kind of spread them out a little bit further. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Well, you're, gonna... While you're dicing oh. up the chicken, um, it was in the recipe to uh, prepare them into bite-sized pieces. Oh, no, I did miss it. Okay, my bad. It's a real budget-friendly thing too, right? Because it'll stretch your meat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another pro tip I even did with found was that if you can even kind of do this with ground beef or even um, deli meat, I've done it with like chicken deli meat or turkey deli meat before. Or if you ever go to like uh, Superstore or Safeway, sometimes they have like this like lunch meat kind of packed and it's like already pre-cooked. You can do that if you're just like 
on a budget and realistically you have this stuff and you want to go to a superstore and you can just make this real fast. You can even make this in a microwave if you have one. Hey, David. Hi. Hey, it's Jen. Did you, did you, were you missing an onion or, or did you just decide to omit it? So my onion was not okay. <laughs> Your onion was not okay. Okay. There should be more there if you need one, but just, if you're, if you're just going to skip it, that's cool. But there is more in the pantry, uh, in the room around the corner, if you need it, just a heads up. Oh, okay. So maybe I'll go grab that in a second. Yeah, there's a, there's a big uh, old box of them. Is it the one that's closer to your office or is it the one? Um, it's the one that's right beside the kitchen, like right beside between uh, yours and Michelle's office. Sorry, Michelle's office and the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so I'll yeah. go over there after once this kind of gets started. And then, um, yeah, we'll be over there. So what you're going to do with your bite side pieces, we're going to just kind of mix them up into the, the powder here. And it's going to taste pretty great. And then just keep grabbing. And realistically, you can mix them all together. There's no place that, that they really need to be. So just get them nice and coated up. And you can, it almost kind of looks like Cheeto dust. <laughs> and then I'm just going to switch back to going to this raw meat here. And again, because I'm touching raw meat, I will have to kind of clean up the station once I'm done. So during that time, I'll have Karen check in with families again, make sure people are learning at their own pace. So I did mine the way Russell and Ginger and family um, are doing theirs with all the chicken in a bowl and then throw the seasoning and the, a little bit of oil in and mm -hmm. toss them up. That's the way that I, I did mine. Oh, that's how you did yours. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can smell it. The chicken must be done cooking. I can smell it and it smells really good. Yeah, it smells. <laughs> Even here, it's just starting to smell really good. So I'm like just uh, putting the cheese and stuff on my wrap now. Nice. And, uh, so you're way ahead of me. Nice. Yeah, I have it on the video here. And then we're putting it on here to cook. Ooh. I added more chicken, and then we have like this press thing. Oh, that's that's so cool. That's so pro. <laughs> So my chicken is all coated, so I'm just going to give my hands a quick wash and uh, yeah. Uh, if you want, Chris, you can mute me while I. That looked great, Ashley. So that why looks, don't we do a check in? Great. Let's see. Um, Laura, how are you making out? No. I'm still learning. <laughs> it looks I just good. figured out the video and the, the volume, and I'm going to start trying it now. Okay. Excellent. Um, Zoe, how are you guys doing? Zoe, Ikwe, and Melissa? <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Um, Rachel. Oh, okay. Rachel. Hi. Oh, there you are. Oh, it looks good. Some of mine, and then I just did some for the kids. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Thank you. Shay, are are you cooking along? Oh, that's what it, oh, there. Oh, um, I'm going to do that. All right. Charity, do you want to jump in? I just joined. I was on the phone for a while, and uh, oh. I'm just going to watch. I'll cook it later because I'm with my grandchild right now. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And then I'm glad you're here to watch. Yeah. So um, I am back. And. I'm just chopping up my onion here. And these parts can, again, these parts are really great for broth. We did chat about it before. I can mention it after class has ended. There's always like a minute or two that I'm here after the class ends. So if you have a question about that, you can ask. Uh, just gonna peel the tops off here. And then I'm gonna dice it up and hopefully maybe you do have a chance to see me cry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a half for now just to be mindful of time. Just do a quick 
chops. And then there, smells pretty awesome. I'm just gonna do little chops here, kind of dice them up small, just so they kind of blend in with the, the melody of smells and flavors of everything else we chopped up today. Excellent. And then remember, send us your photos of your in progress meals or your completed Instagram worthy photos to hashtag food is medicine. And uh, Chris is going to put up our social media overlay soon. So we're at Twitter, FNFAOMB, Facebook, we're First Nations Family Advocate, and Instagram, FNFAO. Um, we have a question. Oh, uh, Peyton from Alicia's household is impressed with your chopping skills, David. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Probably not the best, but <laughs> I used to help run a food program where we had to feed quite a few families. Uh, and then sometimes my morning was only just chopping vegetables. And I mean a lot of vegetables. So it kind of got handy with a sharper knife. So it might see me kind of struggling here and there, but yeah. I am just gonna look for, do you have oil around here? Usually I have one around here. Apologies while I kind of quickly grab one. We don't need quite a lot of oil. It's like almost mini school, but I'm just kind of doing that because. It'll definitely oh, make a uh, difference. Hopefully you can still to, hear me. Yeah, we can. It'll make a difference um, with the, um, veggies they won't um sear they'll they'll cook really well with the with the oil otherwise they'll be a, a little um i don't know what what to describe it as okay so i'm putting in the oil out it's very little like you don't need it at all i'm just making sure this frying pan doesn't stick shouldn't and we're just going to throw them on there i'm going to kind of brown some of this this, the vegetables here. Again, people are farther than me, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. For those who are waiting on me, I'm so happy. <laughs> I see you, and you're my favorite. Just kidding, you're all my favorite. So we're just going to kind of keep that. Apparently, I don't even have the temperature on, so I'm just going to put that to medium high. And we're just going to kind of, you know, fry those up, saute them up. And we're going to get our, oh, our other bowls over here already. So once those are fried up, we're gonna throw them onto the side in this bowl. Please be careful putting anything on the element. I'm just doing it because I know these ones are off for sure. Uh, and I don't have other tables here to kind of put things onto. And I also just want to keep it in camera and frame. So Ginger says the food is starting to smell so yummy and good. Nice. I, I just wanted to oh, I just wanted comment? to show you guys something. I'm gonna come look. You're gonna come look? Okay. Remember those green, green onions I was talking about? Ooh. Oh my gosh. I just put the little bottoms in there and look how big they've grown. Woo! Wow. That's cool. Yeah, so you can always save your ends and then they'll, I cut them at here. You can see where I cut it. And then just now they're, that they're twice as the tall. Green. Yeah. Isn't that wow. cool? Yeah. That's awesome. That's so cool. That's so reasonable. That's have, awesome. Never ending green onions. <laughs> <laughs> I did right, that too. I'll show you guys mine. This will get going. They're growing so big. Those are my green onions. And while those are frying up, I'm actually going to. Where are you? Light oh my God, look at those. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Amazing. another family doing that? As soon as I get them from the store, I plug them in here and then they just last so much longer and you just take some off when you need it. So smart. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is very awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of lightly oiling this. It's going to be very light. Just, And I'm almost even going to grab, if I have a napkin around here, I'm going to pass me one of those. Just, I'm going to use one of the napkins. You can use a paper towel, which would probably be better. These are freshly clean and I'm just gonna kind of 
give it a very light oiling. It's just to kind of keep that nonstick going. Maybe you want to put a little bit more. You probably don't want it to be kind of like glazed, but just enough to kind of keep, if you put your hand to it, you'll kind of feel the, the oil. I'm gonna put more than that, to be honest. Like, and it's gonna be very, this could, you don't, this is kind of optional. This is just more of a pro tip. And I'm kind of almost even picking it up here, but we're just gonna put it there. Get some of that on there. It's not a lot. You don't need a lot. If you want, you can put butter. And I'm just gonna put this in the oven. Please be careful when touching the oven and we're doing that. And these are going, but they're still quite quiet. They're not like frying yet, which is kind of unfortunate. I wonder if this element's okay. How are people doing it? Looks like we're making progress. Um, I see Sherry's stove. Wow, that looks delish. Mm. Awesome. Oh, no one's else showing theirs? That's okay. <laughs> um, Karen, are you much of a comedian? No. Ask my I kids. I like to think I am, but no one laughs at my jokes. A little fan. Well, I, I do have a I do have a funny story though. On go for it. I'd love to hear it. On Sunday we had our um, Sundance singing our ceremony, so I had to make uh, some soup. And I thought, because we're making soup next week, I'll, I'll try a, a soup recipe similar to what we're making. And uh, so I, I get everything ready and the chicken smells really good and it's perfectly seasoned. And then I throw it all in the pot, throw in some broth and then I'm ready to, you know, carry on. And I'm like, it smells really weird. <laughs> so I checked the broth container. So I made, I ended up making chicken beef soup. <laughs> I use beef, yeah, I use beef broth instead of chicken broth. So, yeah, so while I still ate it, my husband still ate it. Um, Erica's oh, got her. At least they're happy, right? Erica's got her first batch in the oven. Oh, yeah. Have it in the oven already. Awesome. Yeah, and my eating this. Yeah, my girls are eating the tortillas plain. Wow. <laughs> well, they are kind of good. To be honest, let's be real. They're very good. Oh, look at it going. Oh, we got double action going on there. I have a few of mine cooked also. Yum. Nice. That's great. Funny. Shit, sorry. Do you good? Oh, look at that. Fancy. Yeah, it's good. That's easy in your noggin. And you're just going to be, for those who are ahead and kind of have their all assembled, you're just kind of browning them, to be honest. And you're just grilling them. You can even grill them if you want. Uh, may not fit together as well, but like, as long as you're kind of toasting them and kind of frying them up in any kind of way, uh, they're gonna be super duper yummy. You can even do it in the microwave. Uh, it'll be a little bit different, but it will kind of give you that yeah. uh, Anyways, I'm gonna switch over to back to here because it's making quite a bit of noise. So while David is checking the stove, I'm gonna remind you to like, share, subscribe our YouTube. Uh, search uh, First Nations Family Advocate Office on YouTube. Hi, honey. Yeah. yeah. So do we want to go to some of the families? Um, give me a wave or show me your camera if you want to let us know how you're making out. Hi. Yeah, you're right here saying hi. Hi. Nikki, how are you, how is your family doing? Yeah. How about you, Phoebe? How is your family doing? Go back. 
And I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe I'll have to switch to the overhead camera. Um, but it's frying really well. Maybe I will go to the overhead. Just kind of give it that nicer kind of view. So again, for those who aren't ahead of me, <laughs> um, you kind of just want to get this stuff kind of looking a little bit brown. You might want to toast it a little bit here and there. Your onions will kind of start getting translucent. Uh, you kind of stop seeing the garlic as much. That's kind of what you want to go for. And I'm just going to do it a, just a tiny bit longer before I put it away and then get started on that chicken. Okay, it basically is almost done at this point. I'm just kind of making sure everything's cooked a little thoroughly. I do, it is okay if you kind of have all this stuff is edible, um, you know, raw. So honestly, if you have a little bit of raw onion or not fully cooked um, green peppers, that's okay. Karen, were you asking how I was doing earlier? I was just yes. uh, at the stove. Um, no I'm good. I'm just making, um, doing a couple little variations. I've added tomatoes that are seasoned Ooh. and I'm adding mayonnaise. My friend did that before and she added mayo to our quesadillas and it was really good. Wow. So mayo on, on the filling? Yeah. That's Thank what she you. did. So I'm going to wow, try it. Smart. Well, thanks for letting us know. Yeah. And I see um, Nikki, who I had asked earlier, they're watching and they're going to cook together after. So that's awesome. Be sure to send us a photo of your completed meal. We'd really love to see how they turn out. Um, Where do we send the photos? You can send them to um, fnfao at manitobachiefs.com or you can use our social media. So our Twitter is FNFAOMB, Facebook, First Nations Family Advocate, Instagram is FNFAO, and you're going to use the hashtag food as medicine. And David, you might need a, a little oil there. Yeah, I, um, that's what I'm thinking too. I was kind of hope banking on the, the chicken kind of adding their own, but mm -hmm. the way I added them in. I'm gonna add a little oil. And you can even use a little bit of um, butter as well. So I'm just kind of getting that nice and kind of going. Karen's just always watching my back, which I'm so thankful for. Her. <laughs> I'm here for you. So I know Pardon? that uh, I'm here for you. <laughs> and I'm glad for that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to be honest. And again, that's just because I also kind of added some of the other stuff and I didn't separate it from the, the seasoning mix. So I'm just going to get that going. Get some of that moisture in there. We introduce our new family member. This is Beans. Where are you? That said, I'm also just going to put this stuff in the fridge. Please uh, be careful on putting it on a glass surface so you don't want to crack anything. And I'm just going to cool that off a little bit. Oh, a puppy. Cameron got a puppy. He's mm. so cute. What and a sweetheart. 11. Nice. What's the puppy's the name? <laughs> Beans. Aw. So cute. He's no cute. kidding. So cute. And I see Ginger and Russ and, and the family added um, chopped spinach. They sauteed first. So that's that's yum. I added mushrooms. I'm going to lower that heat just a bit. Just because it's kind of toasting the outside and not getting the inside. We always just want to be careful of that. That was my rookie mistake. <laughs> The yeah, one thing I always always like to tell people, some people were like, I can't cook, I can't cook. And I used to be that kind of guy. And now here I'm running the show with you guys. Um, I'm just here to kind of show you that, you know, we all come from different learning paces and, you know, uh, it's never too learned how to cook. It's a very nice thing. And, you know, hopefully with this show, I was able to kind of show you a little bit more alternatives, 
or even just fun, easy to cook stuff for lunch. And that was really my whole goal from this. Oh, I dropped so I'm a wasteful person. What what do they say that old wives tale about when food ends up on the floor? Isn't it that somebody's coming to visit or or you need to oh, feed really? somebody? Is, is that what they say? I think so. Or maybe, you know, they're just trying to scare us into not doing that. <laughs> but I mean, it happens, right? Yeah. So we got an update from Phoebe. The mayo made our quesadillas creamy. It was so good. So mm. I think I'm going to keep that in mind. Hey, um, this is mine. Well, Where, are Where are you? Where are you? Oh, Cassidy, that looks so good. It's so okay, yummy. I have, a, I have a question. Go for it. What? Oh, sorry. Do I add this whole bag to the chicken? Hi, Cassidy. <laughs> whole bag so of I, chicken? I mean, I'm sorry. This spice, do I add this all to the chicken in this bowl? Uh, you can bag, like, so when you put it in there, put your chicken in the bowl. Hopefully it's a bowl that you're not going to be reusing. And then you're going to be gently kind of sprinkling the powder all over it. And you're just going to kind of bake it on, almost kind of like you're frying a fish. And you're just going to coat it all over. Um, don't be like me. So all of it or just half? Uh, you could use all of it. Um, the one thing I would say is that if you do use all of it and you dump it all in there, uh, make sure you shake off the excess uh, before putting it onto the stove. If you're okay, worried about you. it being too strong or not being used to the flavor, then just use as much as you're comfortable with. And if you use half, then you have half for next time. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Could we put water? water. Mm -hmm. Pardon? Can we put water? Because my chicken looks like it's kind of burning. Yeah, go for it. Okay. I'd even put it on a lower heat too. Okay. And just keep it moving. Because mine's burnt in some pieces too. I actually kind of like that flavor a little bit. And mine's almost about done. I'm just going to put it on real low. I'm actually going to take it off. There. I'm going to let that sit. And I'm going to get our space over here ready. I already wiped it down from the, the stuff that we used earlier. This knife is going to be put away. Hard in the chair noises. <laughs> okay, I, I think I missed a thing about the spices. I would just use like cumin's really strong. So I would just like use just a little bit on like what's recommended in the recipe. But um, but like some of them are just depending on like your taste. Like cayenne and, and cumin can be pretty powerful, but you can definitely like season your your stuff like a lot of it. I like a lot of cumin, but I would say if mm. you're if you're averse to strong flavors, you might just want to use like what's recommended in the recipe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think our our packages had them pre-mixed all together, so um, your mileage may vary with all that said. And I'm just going to put that there and get it ready. And I'm going to get our, our food from the fridge that I kind of just chilled out a little bit so they're not piping hot and burning me. And what I'm going to do is put this chicken also in there so our toppings be mindful of the stove shay i saw the... your picture it looked great i'll put that there bring it on over and your cheese you need your cheese realistically we can kind of get started on doing a lot of this. So for those who are ahead of me, I know I already know this. Maybe you want to put some cheese down. I'm going to put mine on the bottom and the top just for this recipe. And then we're just going to mix it up. And we're only going to use half because we're going to be folding this. And I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to actually grab a fork or a spoon. Apologies. I guess I got a little plastic one. We're gonna put some of this on here. 
doesn't have to be quite a lot. Just be enough to put that there. And then for our veggies, just scoop them on in there, stick them in there. Again, we're just gonna kind of just layer them in there. Could be less, more. I really like mine a little bit loaded. And we're just gonna put sprinkle some more cheese on there. And we're just gonna kind of place it firmly. And we're gonna kind of like mush it so it's kind of all even across the board. And then I'm gonna get my pan. Again, this is really hot, so be careful. I do have two little things like this. I'm gonna put them right here, or maybe right here. It's a little off camera, but that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna prepare maybe two more that we're just gonna to toast. How about I do that before I throw them on? Over to oh. me, Chris. Hey, Karen, how are you? Look at this. The family Ooh. brought me some. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to eat while you're slaving away. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> Cameraman Chris, do you want one today? Yeah. Yes. If you didn't hear what he said, he just said yes. It's a silly question, he says. He, of course he would love one. <laughs> so just going to throw that there. Oops, got one on the table. Fortunately, my <laughs> table area is clean. Um, if it is not clean, don't use that piece. Uh, in a professional setting, you probably wouldn't do, just do what I did there. Just gonna My sister likes to, uh, she likes to mix the sour cream and salsa together for like your own little dipping sauce. It's really good. Ooh, I bet. I'm going to put a little bit more for this one. A little bit more veggies. Top there. One more chicken. Gonna put that there now that it's all flat, and we'll get our last one ready. And then we're just gonna throw that in the oven and we're just gonna wait for it. It could be could be a couple minutes, could be like five, I think. I'm not sure what it said in the recipe. Um I kind of like to eyeball mine. That looks great. Just fold it over. Just fold it over there, Jasmine. Oh, it looks wonderful. It does. Oof. We're just getting some of that veggies in there, mixing it up. Trying to just get some of that in there. Not going to be shy about this chicken either. Oof, that looks so good. We're just going to mix that in there. We're going to load it in the cheese, just load it all in. messy if you want. Mm. That looks great, Catherine. Yum. And I'm going to get my oven. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to, I don't think I have an oven mitt right with me. <laughs> so I'm going to use double towels here just to be safe. Right. It's not going to be boiling hot, but be, you probably don't want to keep this on your table surfaces like this for too long. We're just going to Place that nice on there. It's okay if it's a little bit messy. Put that back in there. Put that one there. And you can just press down firmly. Be careful. It is hot. And I'm going to throw that back in the oven. And Karen, do you still have yours or did you munch all down? I just want to show some people some nice, more plated versions of that. I am enjoying this very, very much. The seasoning, mm. oh, the seasoning is really light on the chicken. Mm. And um, as someone who's mm. not really into spices or chili powder or stuff like that, I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, wow, really Kathleen, that looks great. Yeah, delicious. I didn't use all the spice. I used to a little bit because the kids, but now. Hey. It's good, right? It's good. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying that's the, that's it. That's the best feedback ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, man, that's good. I'm happy. <laughs> and Laura, we're right behind you. We see the cheese going on. That looks awesome. 
Sorry for the clattering with my knife and fork. Nah, it's okay. Everybody's probably hearing that at, back at home. <laughs> oh, uh, Russ and Ginger and the fam have a press too. Yeah. So oh, do they? Another one? I wonder how it would be in, in the air fryer. <laughs> you and your air fryer. I'm sure it would be really good actually though. I probably have to pin it with toothpicks though or it would fly around. Yeah. Oh my, I can hear my daughter laughing in the kitchen. <laughs> you love that. I'm not going to lie. I love my air fryer too. I got one for Christmas and I use it all the time. Yeah. Like so I, I understand why people talk about them so often. <laughs> Oh, so, so we're good, just, eh? Just waiting for yours to cook now, David. And Correct. I uh, guess this is a great time for me to plug our social medias and everything going on at our office. Sounds good. I'm going to eat. Okay. So, cameraman Chris, do you want to put that up on the big things, this big spotlight, so I can read that as well? <laughs> that or I should probably put it on the wall here. Anyways, so our social media is... Our Twitter page is FNFAOMB, so that's like Manitoba. Uh, do check us out there. If you do, use, use the hashtag food is medicine. Um, sorry, I'm just putting my last little bits on there. Our Facebook is our First Nations Family Advocate. Do check us out there too. Uh, you can share our, your photos there. You can tag us there. Our hashtag is food as medicine. And then our Instagram is FNFAO. FNFAO. I think it's just that. And our hashtag is food as medicine. Uh, we also do have a YouTube page where you can rewatch a lot of the shows that we have here. Uh, you'd have to search First Nations Family Advocate Office. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if, we, uh, if we get enough subscribers, we can change the URL so that you can, you can find us a lot easier. Um, and honestly, that's mainly about it. Uh, we have a lot of programs coming into our office. Uh, we started Live Free. We have our women's wellness, our men's wellness. We have all this stuff going on. If you're interested in any of that, call our front desk and ask them to be, connect you with the right person. Um, yeah. And of course, always just, if you do comment on our, our pages, tell them how much you love uh, food as medicine. <laughs> just because honestly, I hear so many great things. Um, one family was even telling me how much they looked forward to this every week. It's just like precious family time and community connection. That looks great. Ooh. Oh, baby's got wow. hers on the, on the wow. screen. It looks wonderful. Yeah. It's Did you try really it yet? creamy. Not yet. Oh, tell us how it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't burn your mouth, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're about the five minute mark. And again, as uh, David was talking about our programs, we have the re launch of our beating as medicine tomorrow so if you're interested in that um you can sign up we can let you know what supplies you need and you can join us tomorrow night mm -hmm. we have a we have some great hosts for that program as well today um so do if you're interested in that please reach out of course just um depending on you know what kind of supports if you ever have families struggling with uh anything with the child welfare system and anything like that, please connect them with us. We'd love to help them. Even just very basic wellness supports. Um, it's always great to build your, your wellness and you know support network. And I'm glad you guys are all here. You always make my week every time. Please send in those photos. They make my day every Thursday. <laughs> and be well, be good, be safe, and be well to each other. Uh, be nice. And with that said, do I have anything closing remarks, Karen? Did I forget anything? I'm going to echo Kathleen and say, damn, <laughs> this is really <laughs> good. I'm really enjoying it. Mm. And I see that um, Phoebe ha has said that it tastes like Chipotle. Chipotle. Jasmine and her family say thank you so much. And um, who wanted to join? Oh, Charity wants to sign up for beating. So um, I'll email I'll you tomorrow. After. <laughs> I can connect with her as well. And with that said, uh, um, I'm your host, David Monius, and 
We had Karen Swain with us here today. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Take care, everyone. <laughs>